And Jim was saying earlier when we spoke to him before race that you're beginning to get uh, a little less wetted surface in lower wind ranges, is that right? Yeah, I mean, we're, the sail plan really helps us in the lighter air. You know, we've gone bigger again on the A3 and the downwind sails and, uh, and also lightening the boat up as well. And so we're able to tip it over a little earlier. Um, but unfortunately, when it gets to about four or five knots of wind, there's just so much form stability in the hull and we just can't tip the boat over. So there's, there is a limit. We feel like we've motored the boat towards the lighter end um, probably more than it was last year. But there is still a cliff and, you know, at five knots of wind speed, you know, where there's not much we can do. You know, the boat is the boat and, you know, it's great in its optimum conditions, but in its uh, suboptimum conditions, it gets pretty tough. And, and we had a few of those, you know, moments during this race. And a uh, pretty heavy penalty for putting electric winches on, but then presumably saving quite a lot of weight on the rail and other things as well? Yeah, well, I think we actually sail the boat a lot faster, you know, and we're a lot more efficient because we can trim actively, we can manoeuvre a lot more effectively, and we can peel and change sails quickly. So, I mean, the, I think the, it's actually a, a net, it's a massive gain, you know, in performance of the boat. And also the weight penalty isn't so good because we can actually take less people on board because yeah. we don't have to have so many grinders. And uh, so it's a bit kind of a, it's a net. It nets out with the weight so I think it's a, a huge gain and, and the boat's definitely faster than it was last year. And presumably makes you a little more agile you can just get into the manoeuvres more quickly with the push buttons and so on. Yeah with push buttons you can do a tack and a, and a drive with seven people on deck you don't have to wake everybody up and you don't have to grind for 15 minutes so it's a it's a big gain and you know makes the boat a lot more agile and you can uh, and you can really throw the boat around and play the shifts which is what we were doing you know over the last two nights. Fantastic. Well done. Just before you go, tell us a little bit about what's uh, what's coming up for you in the next year. Uh, yeah, this this year is going to be quite exciting. Uh, sailing with um, Team Australia and the Sail GP circuit, and and that's going to be great. Coming into the first event in Sydney and being the home team, and you know, in Sydney, it's going to be absolutely amazing. And I think it's it's uh, sailing that hasn't been seen before in Australia, and and certainly and certainly the world as well. You know, to have. Uh, six foiling uh, multi hulls blasting around at 50 knots is going to be pretty exciting and on Sydney Harbour there's no better backdrop so I can't wait to get into that.